This is a demonstration of a prefabricated illusory frame assembly for bone transport in gap non-union of tibia. Road traffic accident with segmental bone loss, external fixation, plastic procedures has now come for final definitive procedure. This is an all wire bone transport prefabricated construct using Russian tensioning of wires and using a giggly saw for osteotomy. The video is unedited 3x speed with comments. The patient bears weight on the next day of surgery. The x-ray is first inspected in the AP and lateral views and a rough planning is made before the surgery about the levels of the three rings that are going to be used. A prefabricated construct using two smaller distal and one larger proximal ring is assembled. The top and bottom rings are the fixed rings while the transport ring or the middle ring is a mobile ring that will move from proximal to distal. The frame is assembled in such a manner that on inserting into the leg there must be more space posteriorly than anteriorly. The surgery is performed under spinal anesthesia. When the limb is inspected, it is flail and deformed, though functional and vascular distally. A pre scrub is given where the leg is cleaned with povidine iodine solution. It is then prepared and draped in the standard manner as for any orthopedic surgery. The toes are left free and it is ensured that the foot is fully visible as we intend to apply a metadarsal ring. A standard set of disposable tibial drapes is used. Once the position is ready, we slide the prefabricated assembly and shift it to the correct level. The first wire should pass lateral to medial above the ankle joint. Its position is checked on the C-arm and then the wire is attached to a power tool and drilled across the upper tibia and fibula. Here we are going from medial malleolus to the lateral malleolus. One end of the wire is anchored to the appropriate hole and tightened. A C-arm image is once again taken to ensure that the ring is in the correct level. The key here is that the ring and wire should be parallel to the ankle. The opposite end of the wire is now anchored with a wire fixation bolt. One end is now fully tightened the long protruding edge trimmed and the wire twisted. The other end will be pulled to tension using the Russian method and as the nut is twisted, the wire stretches. The wire is now tightened. We can see that the gap posteriorly is more than the anterior gap. The second reference wire is a mediolateral wire on the proximal ring. Once again, this is 
attach to the ring one side tightened and the opposite side tensioned by twisting the nut by 90 degrees at this stage the frame can be moved from side to side to adjust the gaps and we must ensure that the gap on side to side should be equal anteriorly a little less and posteriorly a little more a c arm image confirms the correct level of the ring here we intend to perform a diaphysial corticotomy once the wires are tightened we now pass the second wire which is the perpendicular wire to the distal ring this video shows all wires tensioned by the russian tensioner and the method is simple one end is tightened and then the nut itself is turned by 90 degrees so that the wire assumes a stretched position and a tinny noise now the middle or transport fragment is impaled by the first wire which is an anterior posterior wire passing only through the tibia through the safe corridor one end is tightened and the nut on the opposite end is twisted to stretch the wire by winding the wire around the twisted nut now the perpendicular wire for the most proximal ring is passed and once again it is attached at one end and tensioned at the other one must ensure that one wire passes on the top side of the ring while the other wire passes on the bottom side of the ring the next wire is a metatarsal wire which starts from the fifth metatarsal to the first and over this a half ring is passed the tension for a half ring should be lesser than the tension for a full ring the metatarsal is stretched to 90 degrees to ensure that the patient has a plantigrade foot for weight bearing walking from the next post operative day the metatarsal ring can be kept at right angle to the distal tibial ring with the use of paired post or a combination of a post and a straight plate the third wire is now passed in the proximal tibial ring through the safe corridor and tension by the russian method of tensioning the next wire is the perpendicular wire in the middle fragment we now have three wires in the distal fragment distal segment three wires in the proximal segment and two wires in the middle segment ideally in a three ring construct we would require nine kushner wires for corticotomy the incision is slightly generous because i intend to use a giggly saw the periosteum is split and the giggly saw blade is going to be inserted beside the periosteum retaining the integrity of the periosteal sleeve in gentle seesaw movements the giggly saw wire is moved to cut the bone and three or four skin sutures are applied as the corticotomy site 
has shifted medially we will now pass a medial to lateral olive wire after crossing one cortex it is pulled from the other side and attached to a post wire fixation bolt assembly using a manual tensioner we now tighten the wire which makes the olive pull the displaced fragment more centrally to a position of acceptable bone transport and encouraging regenerate formation the corticotomy site is closed for an above ankle fibular osteotomy the appropriate level is chosen and a 1 cm bone is resected to ensure that the bone transport segment floats down majestically without obstructions the stability of the frame is tested and knee movements are permissible or allowed till the abutting of the rings the post op operative x ray is fairly satisfactory and the patient will begin his nut turnings for lengthening or bone transport in a week's time this is a patient around 18 hours after surgery on the next day and he is attempting to get down unaided and unassisted and shall be encouraged to walk full weight bearing after months of being in an agonizing misery on the bed slowly the patient gains confidence and is able to walk with increasing weight on the frame he will be encouraged to climb stairs and will be discharged within 2 days of surgery thank you for your attention